Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked, for what values of x is f continuous? And we have the function f of x is equal to 0 if x is rational, and x if x is irrational. And so, as we learned in the last problem, there's no point on the number line where you're going to get a clump of rational numbers, right? Where the function is going to be 0 over a discrete length of the number line, right? You're always going to be jumping between rational and irrational numbers as we go across the number line, meaning the value of the function is going to be jumping between 0 and x infinitely many times, back and forth and back and forth, in a way that doesn't even really make sense in the way we typically think about numbers, right? And so the function, if we could view it on some like infinitesimally small scale, would look like it's jumping back and forth between 0 and whatever the value of x is at that given irrational point. Right? The definition of continuity is that the limit as x approaches a of some function is equal to the value of the function at that point a. Right? So as we're getting closer to f of a, let's say this point right here, we would need the function to be approaching it as it gets closer and closer to that x value. Right? And as we can see here, if it's always jumping back and forth between x, whatever x is, and 0, then the only way for this to be true is if x was equal to 0, right? The limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, well, what would that look like? Well, as we're getting closer and closer to 0, right, again, it doesn't really make sense in a technical way to think about the function as this, like, up and down and up and down, but it's the best physical representation we have of the function. So if... Uh, the value of the function is equal to x, or it's equal to 0, right? And it's bouncing far between these. Then as we get closer and closer to 0, right, the difference between x and 0 becomes less and less, right? If we're jumping up to between 0 and 2, it's jumping up and up and up. But as we get to, you know, x is equal to 1, well, then it's only jumping up to 1, and then 1 half, and then jumping 1 fourth, and 1 eighth, and it's getting closer and closer. And as it's getting closer and closer to 0, it's approaching, the function itself is approaching 0. Once again, I really want to state, this is not what the function would actually look like because it's not really even possible to see a function jumping back and forth infinitely many times between uh, y equals x and y equals zero. But the only place where this function is continuous, where the limit as the function approaches some value is equal to some particular value at all, it just happens to also be the case that it is approaching the value of the function at that point, is at x equals zero.